Change three things in his routine and he'll be in pieces. Yes. Pardon me, Keith. We're just going behind the bar here to pick up a card. Don't mind us. The guitar is called Grekic. Or Greek. What? Yeah, Greek Koch, I suppose. What is it in the back? Can't see what it is. Back in the Hole. That's my favourite ska band. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Hi there. That's nice. <laughs> yes, all the cans just stacked around everywhere. There's a lot of cans. There's a lot of awful lot of cans. <laughs> this is a great like kind of like odd couple I've seen. It's just like your your dolan wife and then just like the cool dude who happens to have like two evil twins. You know he knocked her up like young. Possibly. And she's basically stuck with him. Yeah, like it's actually her, almost like her religion is kind of keeping her together. It's like, well, you know, marriage is between God first and foremost. And <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> uh, let's see what she, let's see what she has first. Oh, there we go. We have a suit. It buy immediately. Oh, it's a pink suit. Yes. Yes. yes here we yes. are. We are here for this. Okay, what we got? We got a bar, sickle, golf club, a shovel, a fork, mm -hmm. a picker, an ice axe. Not bad. Bullets, bullets, coffees, root beer, cookies, all the usual. For? Ooh, broccoli. Uh, flares are for when we're stuck without a car. Alright. Yeah. Uh, egg. Always important to have eggs. Uh, tomato sauce, always oh, pineapples, hollandaise sauce, nice. Lads, we're, 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 we're um, getting in here. Oh, smokes. Oh, look at all the beef. Okay, we have all the beef we need. That's fine. Wait, hang on. That beef is $55 each? Yeah. And we, we, that means that we picked up $250 worth of beef. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I know, right? Is that not the fucking most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I mean, like, those of you that, like, just need to go from, like, station to station, buying high, like, buying cheap and selling high. Yeah. Back and forth, back and forth, between that and the shop. Get them fucking cash. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, sorry, I was going to click, press stop there, sorry. Apologies. Because I sense a subplot with our, um, shopkeeper here. She does have a card available. There we go. Now, it's a weird lag there with the button. You always look like a busybody. Is the job working you that hard? <laughs> it's not so bad, huh? I've gotten used to it now, really. You seem to be taking it easy. Sometimes it's important to take a laid-back approach. Dad, I'm a high and open. Pressing it's... forward too quickly can be a recipe for disaster. You're being silly. <laughs> Don't laugh at my work. Um, if you have time on your hands, can I ask you a favor? Okay, here we go. Nothing major. It's just our storage room is a total mess. Ooh. Keith just makes it worse every time he tries to clean it up. Well, he is a man. And I can't move the heavy boxes in there. I but. used to ask my father to help us out, but, well, he's not that young anymore. Of course, I'll give you something in return. If you tidy the place up, I'll give you this. My card. What's that? A bronze card. It's a discount card. Oh, for the milk discount. Card. Oh, nice. You'll be able to buy things cheaper with this. I think it'll help you lower your investigation expenses. So to be fair, we have just bought a six thousand dollar suit off you, so I think we're good. Yeah. Zach, what do you think? Wait, six thousand? I thought I thought I paid like nine hundred for it. I can't remember. Thank you, hon. The storage room is this way. Part time job one. Yes. I get like you really get paid more than most people in the town. If I say I say he's like added to the GDP by about a factor of three. <laughs> it's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a bomber map puzzle. <laughs> um, yes, I love it. I okay. love it. Okay. So, oh no, right. we we don't get the top down view. Oh yes, no. Yeah. Okay. We push this to the side. Yeah. Okay. And then loop back around. Yes. You can stop now. So, York, stop it. Stop. It gives a heart attack. The... <laughs> but no. 
Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> the fuck just happened? Uh, I, I couldn't stop pushing, and then I, my only choice were either to stop or to reset all the boxes. The fuck? Okay. Alright, I mean, uh, it's fine. Okay, right, that's how it works. Basically, every, like, it's like every input is like moving the actual, like, box one tile. This is actually how it's been working initially, but it's just that I didn't uh, notice. Yeah, I can go. Or, uh, like, I did you have to go around, up and around, let's say. No, like, you push it, um... No, hang on. Yeah, you, you push it from that side, and then the other one, yes. and then... Right, so that one will go. Wait, no, no, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, that, that way, yeah. Mm. Right, I actually thought this was more complicated than it was, but it's not. Rather still a puzzle, actually. Yeah, it is. I think it's because it's so disorienting, that's all. Um, okay, so this one moves. Move yeah. Left? No, no. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Good. Right, so we go there. Push it down one. I mean, you could have done it the other way, but... I could have done it the other way, yeah. But I'm assuming you're going to push it from one direction, so... And then... Push it to the limit. <coughs> limit! <coughs> Vashing all the boxes in The storeroom of the milk cart Cause nobody works yeah, here. What the fuck does it say about, like, the fucking husband that couldn't... That made this kid, made this worse? He's too busy, like, rocking out, dude. Ha <laughs> Whimsical <laughs> music! <laughs> Hey Paula, have you heard about the Delicious Cookie you can't Company? Can't help alone, can you? Look, there's a poster right there. Tell you now, oh wow. You're that kind of guy. Anyway, have you ever heard of the Delicious time. Cookies? Have you ever had one? I mean, not really. <laughs> we'll give you a discount from your next purchase. Thank yeah. you, Louie. Yeah. I mean, you gave me this... Be careful not to get carried away and overspend, Zach. Agent York, you're a good... No, no, you, you absolutely should overspend. You have a discount now. Like, sure, Keith and the boys feel you, the same. You, 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 you can on, buy everything they have. Yeah. Like, it's a... Buy out the fuckers. Go for it. What's, what, what else could go wrong? I mean, we've already, like, got the only thing important. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Which Jeez. I insist <laughs> that we, we change into that suit as soon as possible. Yes, I agree. At our first opportunity, we'll change into the suit. Because... Well, Oh, yeah. that, that's what we fucking need in the graveyard a bright pink suit bright pink suit uh, well to be fair we're, we are a cherry blossom suit and we're chasing the seeds I think it makes sense mm. you know you dress for the job you want hey, in my opinion I like that he is in a poster behind himself that's great I like that I wonder how long ago that was Pff, probably last week going, look, looking by him I, I, don't know, I don't even think that like he actually ever went on a rock and roll night. I think he just got a poster of himself commissioned because he's such a vain shit. That, or he's he, he considers himself in a band that does gigs, except he's the only one left in it. Mm. Oh, hello, what's this? Specials? Ooh, deep blue suits. Alright, we're definitely getting that. Oh, that is a good... That's a, that's a fucking Phoenix Wright suit. Oh yeah, have some of that. Objection, Your Honour. Oh, so you have spiritual that. map? A spirit, yeah. Spiritual map of Greendale. It costs a lot of money. Do you want to go for it? I'm sure our budget will find the fucking room. Buy both. Why not? Hey, man. The spot on the map is called Cope's Tunnel. Okay. It's one of a couple of places in town where, like, spooky stuff happens. Very spiritual stuff happens then. I'll tell you a story, okay, man? But, uh, don't go spreading it around. Spirits, they don't like publicity. Yes, they're well known for not wanting. Why is it? Why is it gone there? Jesus fucking Christ! It's the main connection from the lumberyard to this. Every day, huge trailers would like come in and out. Lots of traffic, dude. Course, He's been waiting for actual like months for arms, some idiot to buy that map. Yeah. Pollution, you know. Big business was pushing in here from all over the U.S. of A. Everyone was bickering over the force. So some of the town people got even more worked up, you know? Right. They started a protest inside the tunnel itself. Oh, no. I guess maybe that was the start of all the bad times. Bad 
bad times. Oh yeah, man. Rough stuff and heavy times. Rough stuff. Man. Rough stuff happened. Conservationists and the lumber workers faced off with each other. Man. Neither side was backing down. Man. And that made things worse. Man. Man. All this chaos. There was a man and a woman who got engaged. Problem was that the man was a lumberjack and the woman, she was a. Trainer. It's you and Lily, isn't it? They rarely ever fought. It's you and Lily. Then Just say it. It's, it's you and Lily. They had a lover's quarrel. People think that her love of nature clashed with his profession. Which is probably true. But we'll never I mean, know yeah. They really were fighting about that morning. The man shouted. He called her an idiot. And then he stormed out and went to work. What a shit. If only he had known that would be the last word he would ever say to her. Oh my god. When he finished his work for the day, he got in his car and drove home. When he got to the tunnel, he saw lantern lights glowing faintly. Those fools, not again. This is literally a story straight out of fucking Beyond Belief Factor Fiction. Yeah. I'm waiting for Jonathan Frakes to just walk into the car to shot and go, Hi there, I can't believe you're stealing my story. Wait up. Give it back. Maybe sped towards some protesters. One came toward him. A second later, there was a thud. And the lantern flew up into the air. And it was his wife. on his brakes too late, of course. Then, totally freaked, climbed out to see what had happened. I don't need to tell you who he hit, do I? What's more, in her mangled hand, there was a letter to the head of the lumber mill. A peaceful settlement offer. The woman had no other relatives other than the man. <laughs> right. And the lumber mill took no responsibility for the accident. It was going out of business anyways. What happened to the man then? No one saw him again. Some say he killed himself. Or simply just vanished. Or maybe it's just bollocks. Now he might still be in the tunnel, weeping over his lost love. So now, some folks say there's a ghost of a young man that haunts the tunnel. I told oh, I get it. So now that we bought the map, the ghost is going to appear. So we can so see it. Hear me out. Corpse tunnel now. He basically committed a murder. Guy. Yes. You go down there, by there were other activists there. <laughs> yeah. Promptly fucking hung him. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, there's some activists. I'm going to put on the accelerator and kill some. Yeah, yeah boy. Successfully killed one. Got out of his car. And then got promptly fucking lynched. <laughs> That's how you save the environment. You kill people. I mean, that's only s sometimes true. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Well, in fact, like, wait, what? Four, four billion? Maybe. We'll be, then, we'll be, then, we'll, then we'll be fine. Five billion a stretch. Some more so than others. Some more so than others. Yeah. What we're saying is that if you drive a Tesla, you're worse than Hitler. <laughs> Again, the look on Paul's face there was like processing, processing, error, error. Dun, 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 God dun. fucking damn it. <laughs> it was just great just seeing you. Oh, hello, Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi. Carol, hi. Hi, I, I'm, I'm, your, I'm your biggest fan. Carol. Hi, Carol. Hey, She's Carol. not giving you attention because you're not wearing a bright pink enough suit. That's a good point. I don't know who my brother is. Where my brother is. Oh, right. Uh, that's that's, that's, that's uh, Tom's sister. Yes. All right, then. So we now, have a, we now have a subplot, Paul. Do you want to go and see some spooky shit? Well, first I've... things first, we need a bright pink suit for this. Well, I, feel, I think you're at me raise a valid point. I mean, yeah. how else are the ghosts going to see us if we don't have a bright pink suit? It would be a health and safety hazard to go into a dark tunnel without a bright pink suit. You are apps. Do you know what? I am glad someone has brought... It's, it's taken us a long time, lad, but finally, somebody has brought health and safety into Paul of Cthulhu. And do you know what? I'm glad it was you, Paul. I'm glad it was you. I am confident we've brought it up once before mm -hmm. when we might be walking along a, a walkway that had no rail. Yes. And instant death upon, like, the oh, slightest yes. tilt over it. Oh yes, of course. We we remember the uh, dark days of alone in the dark. <laughs> not, not not if we can help it. Yes. Not if we can fucking help it. Do you know what we could do with a bit of fuel actually? To be fair, before we start going on our adventures, I sense a few long distance journeys. Really? Well, just in case. Well, you know. Uh, you, you know how it is. Like the moment you don't fucking get fuel, you run out of it. I was gonna say, well, any excuse to say Tuts Tits McGee, yeah. <laughs> tits McGee this. or Tick okay. McGee. Yes, yes, he has tits, but like not the ones I wanted. Yes. 
Did you just spit on my fucking car? Yes, he did. Oh, hello. We can bribe him. Let's bribe him. Right, what's going to happen here? Now, remember the last time. my good buddy. Now, remember the last time. I got something new to tell ya. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So that's basically like telling us like we could have got the engine upgrade if we want to. Or we actually could have bought a car. Well, which we have done before anyway, so. Yeah. So, like, you paid $200 for just general gameplay tidbits. Yeah, I, I guess so. Like, I thought, I presume, like, if you use up all the bribes, you will eventually, like, uh, get his card. I'm assuming that's how it goes. For this, it did say at the time, like, if you. Now, there, there we, we go. go. Now we know. <laughs> Even a bright pink cat hat. <laughs> her hat is going to be the same color as her suit in five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to wow. pump it. Not going to lie, I was expecting a slightly sexualized animation for pumping it, but you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we watch the car, we'll probably get that. Yeah, that's true. But at least we finished. That's the start. <laughs> Her OnlyFans, like, page must be like the fucking, like, Dawn of the Dead. What? Like, there must be so many people just, like, at the door screaming at her for fucking content. It's like, rrr, rrr. Oh, well, yeah. You know. Actually, hang on, what? Oh, okay. We got money um, back. Cool. Um. What year is this, this going to be setting? This game setting? Um, I think modern day, as far as I know. Okay. Although it seems to be a little bit like, like I wouldn't say like two, like mainly like two thousands. Like again, as I was saying, like I think I mentioned the last time. Like this is obviously heavily inspired by Twin Peaks, so I think it's gone for around the same time era. Time era. Because like, it's not massive like, computers like, or phones, you know? Yeah, so what, uh, 90s? I, I, I would say 90s. I would say 90s. It's such a shame. Just, like, a bit later, bring my own only fans. <laughs> a little too early. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, she she kind of, like, she'll, like, self-produce her own VHS. That's how it'll go. We'll fight for her. Uh huh. We're driving around a farm. It looks like. 